Hey guys, welcome to Cliff Talks Money. Today I'm going to teach you the difference between the employee mindset and the business owner mindset. Because basically you're going to be on either side of that desk for the rest of your life. You're going to be asking for a job or offering a job or maybe somewhere self-employed in the middle. But your attitude is definitely going to determine which side you're going to be on. It's almost a positive versus negative. And um, I'm going to help you break that down and maybe make some changes in your life that I, that I found useful and made in my life. And hopefully you can too. So number one, uh, the day drags on when you're an employee. It just sucks. It, it's you're, You can just check your watch over and over. You're scared to look at the clock. You don't even want to acknowledge the clock. You know, it's almost lunch. You just, you can't wait for it to be over. And, but for a lot of business owners, uh, they can be like that too. They're not happy. They're they're not enjoying their business. I've met plenty of business owners who have that mindset too. So it's not just a, you know, us versus them. It's almost like a negative versus positive. But generally speaking, the, for the business owner, there's never enough time in the day, especially when you're you're in go mode and you're you're producing just not for the money, but just to serve your fellow man. It feels good to work and produce. It's good to work. Work is like a blessing. It's fun to go on vacation for two weeks, but you kind of almost want to come home. And your work is almost the purpose of your life. If you're feeling lost or unsure what your life should be about, it should be about work. It, it'll really ground you and center you and give you something to do and, and purpose. So a lot of people are feeling lost because they're not dedicated to the work, no matter what your profession is, even if you're mopping floors. If I'm mopping this floor, I'm going to make sure that everyone knows Cliff mopped this floor. And everyone's like, wow job so that's the first one number two uh, a lot of employees and i used to be this way too you come in late and leave early you know you come in just one minute two you swipe in you know in between first break you know use washroom for five minutes in between breaks you know take an extra two minutes on lunch try to leave five minutes early you know try to get like the best uh, analogy i could say is like a guy will Coming for eight hours, but he'll barely work seven. And he thinks he's getting away with a free hour, but he's not. He's actually hurting his character and his work ethic. And that applies to the rest of his life as well. So you're not you're not stealing an hour from your boss. You're stealing an hour from your character. So the opposite is true for the business owner. They come in early, they stay late. But just like that, not always because they love it, because they have to, or because they're unorganized, or because they're just just barely getting by and they're just surviving. It's almost like a production versus survival mindset. Employees are just trying to survive. A lot of business owners are trying to produce and win. They're trying to go big and go for it in life. So there's a, there's a big contrast there we want to be aware of as well. So, um, number three, work consumes all your energy when you're an employee because you're, the boss is poking you and prodding you and making you work and making you work on deadlines, getting products done and delivered to customers and on and on. But a lot of business owner work produces the energy. That's where they get their energy from. They're excited to produce. It's good to work. It's good to serve your fellow man with products and services they happily pay for. It's not like the old days where a vacuum cleaner and salesman come door to door and try to get his foot in the door when you try to close it and prod his way in and try to convince you to buy the vacuum. I look at it as a, as a business owner and someone who's productive. I want to make products that people are willingly buy, that people are looking for. I don't have to like berate them with ads and stuff. They're, they're calling around, do you sell this type of furniture? Do you have a place for rent? I need a place to rent. Do you have one? Like, yes, I do. It's clean, it's safe, and affordable. Come see me. So I make sure I always have a product or a service that people are happy to buy. They're not, I don't have to berate them or trick them or convince them to buy. They want to buy it. And that produces energy and positivity and all these other great feelings. The opposite of the consumption feelings. So number four, the crowd is, uh, thank God, is Friday crowd. You don't want to fall into that trap because... The people are saying, thank God it's Friday are the same people at the end of their life saying, thank God it's over. You want to be into the thank God it's Monday crowd. Yay. I can't wait to get this week started. I can't wait to get to work Monday and start producing and kicking butt. These are the same people that are going to say, thank God I have a place to go to work. I'm not just grateful for a job, but just, just grateful to be producing and productive and serving their fellow man once again. So don't fall into thank God it's Friday trap. Because it's going to be a long drug through life, and there's a lot. There's a, okay. That's that's ninety nine percent of people. Thank God it's Friday. They can't wait to get to the bar Friday after work and get lit. So just just be aware of that and 
try to find a way to look forward to Mondays. It's almost impossible when you're an employee, but when you're the owner, it's so much easier. So, and, and number five, as an employee, this is absolutely critical. As an employee, you're getting paid per hour or, or, or even sometimes commission or piecework. But the, the crux of the matter, this is so mission critical. You're not getting paid what you're producing or what you're worth because you're not really worth anything. The product or service you're making is where the value is, where people trade cash for. But you're not getting paid for the value of that product or even how hard you work. You're getting paid based on what it compared to other available labor in the marketplace. You might produce a $15,000 piece of furniture in one day, but if everyone down the street from you is willing to work for $10 an hour, then you're only worth $10 an hour, period. It's not about what you're worth. It's about what the marketplace has. About It's about the, the labor pool is willing to work for, not what you're worth, what your products are worth, or what your knowledge or your talents are. But as a business owner, you get paid for the value that you create and deliver to that customer. This this could be number one through five. This is it. A lot of people are missing that because they don't understand that it's a marketplace determining not only the cost of labor, but the cost of the product. So if there ever was a reason to start a business, it's to get paid for the value you create. Not what you're objectively worth, but the value that you create on a daily basis. And when I mean value and not just a product or some amorphous subject, I mean the, the real de- deliverable good that you can put in someone else's hand. And that's basically a habit of creating value is that what you take, what type of action you take place in the marketplace every day is like, that's who you become. That's, that's going to be, that's going to be it, the value. So Guys, if you found value in this video, please share it with someone you care about and help me spread the word of financial responsibility. And check out my other videos on business and investing and subscribe to this channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye for now.